Psalms 57. The chief musician, how sick is it, is destroyed not. A Mitchum, a prayer of David, when he fled from Saul in the cave. Be merciful unto me, David in his troubles are seeking mercy from God and God alone. O oh God, be merciful unto me. It's a verily, verily. Mention it twice. For my soul trusted in thee. That's the only one that ought to be trusted in. God. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge. And that's a tribulation passage. Jesus said, Pray that your flight not be in the winter or on the Sabbath. Revelation 12 says, He's given that woman in Israel wings of a, of a great eagle to fly in the wilderness. Unto these calamities be overpassed. When the Messiah, Jesus Christ, comes in the second advent, we are looking again at tribulation and second advent passages. David is writing as a prophet. Now, David is a prophet and he's a king. Well, not right now in Psalm 57, but. He's going to be king. He's anointed king. And he has entered the priest's office. David is one of the few men in the Bible that is a prophet, priest, and king like Jesus Christ. Samuel was a prophet and a priest, but he was never a king. He was a kind of ruler of the nation of Israel, but he wasn't a king. Jeremiah was a priest. And prophet, but not a king. So we see a great thing that David is prophesying of the tribulation period and the millennium. And the second coming. And you can't just read the New Testament and miss the Old Testament. Because the Old Testament contains the New Testament. I will cry unto God most high, that we ought to do. Unto God that performeth all things for me. Everything that's done to us, for us, is by God. Second Advent passage. He, God, shall send from heaven and say, Jehovah means, Je Jesus means Jehovah saves. And he shall save his people from their sins. From me for the reproach of him, him, singular, David foresaw and the nation of Israel be the Antichrist that would swallow me up, devour. Not just to get out of the land, but to destroy. As Saul wanted to do for David, and as the Antichrist would want to do with the children of Israel. Selah. That's a musical rest. And a word of the Psalms of a second advent passage. God shall send forth his mercy, and that's Jesus. And this truth, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth. My soul is among lions, Daniel. The Bible speaks of the devil being our adversary as a light lion, seeking who he may devour. And I lie, lie down, even amongst them that are set on fire. Even the sons of men, whose teeth are spears and arrows, very sharp. Cruelty, damaging, tearing of the teeth, and their tongue a sharp sword, where James speaks about almost a full chapter about the tongue being set on the fire of hell. You can destroy another person, and yeah, you can give them bruises, that will destroy somebody. You can beat somebody, you can destroy them, but you can also destroy somebody with a foul tongue. And history has report of itself, such as people as Adolf Hitler, that has given the orders, that has destroyed with his mouth many families, most of the Jewish people throughout Europe. And in, this, in the World War II, that he ordered his Nazis and the German armies to go out and bomb England and, and bomb Europe and to the, the death camps and the concentration camp out of his mouth millions if not billions of people were killed 
or suffered and wait till the Antichrist comes where out of his mouth he's going to order. Listen, the Bible says that that image is going to speak and it's going to turn people in like they did with, with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They're not worshiping the image, O king. And when you don't read the Old Testament, you are missing future prophecy as it's going to happen again. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is going to happen again. It won't be before Nebuchadnezzar. It will be before the Antichrist. God shall send forth his mercy, his truth, Jesus. And out of Jesus comes, comes, the, comes the sword, the word of God. Sanctifying through thy truth, thy word is truth. My soul is among lions. Oh yeah, verse 5. Be thou exalted, O God. And that's the only one who should be exalted. Above the heavens, plural, is where God is. Let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps, a trap. They're trying to entrap David. They're going to try and trap Israel. My soul is bowed down. That woman that Jesus met in the gospel, you know, she's bowed down. And he said, he said that Satan has buffeted this woman and he healed her. Bowed down, pain and suffering. They have digged a pit for me. And that's a large hole that you cover with grass and weeds and and straw, and an animal comes along and falls in. Into midst whereof they are fallen themselves, Selah. Be not deceived, God's not mocked whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. You want to build a trap for the nation of Israel? You want to build a trap for David? All right, I'll get you. Saul died in battle by suicide, and David lived to be a ripe old age. The Antichrist is going to end up in the lake of fire, and there'll be Jewish people that will go into the new heaven, new earth, and new Jerusalem. My heart is fixed on God, O oh God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise, singing unto the Lord, even while fleeing from Saul. Awake up, second advent, my glory, Jesus. Awake, psaltery and heart, singing, rejoicing. I myself will awake early. Every saint in the Bible always, they woke up early in the morning and they did what God told them to do. The morning is pitching Jesus Christ coming. I will praise thee, O Lord, that's who gets the praise, among the people. I will sing, make music unto the, the, the among the nation. The nation is going to be in the tribulation period. I mean, excuse me, in the millennium. The sheep nations that Jesus will allow for helping the Jews. And together with the Jewish people and together with the church. All praise and in the angels, Jesus Christ upon the throne of David. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, plural. And thy truth, Jesus, to the clouds. Pay attention to the clouds. Clouds is what covered Mount Sinai. Clouds is what gathered the, the nation of Israel through the wilderness. He cometh with clouds. It'll be a cloudy day when the rapture. Be thou exalted, God, and it should be repeated. Above the heavens, let thy glory be all above the earth. Glory to God. 